Hi, this is Billy Reader, and I am here to show you yet another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to look at how you export video uh, in Adobe Premiere CS6. Um, super easy, so this won't take very long. Uh, I've already gone ahead and created this really simple video just using three clips. Nothing special. Uh, but say, once you get to the end of your uh, project, you're ready to do something with it, or you want to either upload it to the web or go to a DVD or whatever you're looking for your final format to be it's super easy to manage so all you have to do go to file export and media okay so here is one of the things I just want to show you it's, most folks don't know especially starting out all the specifics. So when you get into the export settings, you've got format AVI, uh, depending on if you're working from a Mac or a PC. I'm currently on a PC, so uh, you have all these options and different ways you can do this. Presets under each one of them. Um, but what you want to do is just go ahead and give it a name. And I'm just going to call this demo export choose wherever you want this thing. I'm just going to say your videos, save. Now it has a name. I could add comments if I wanted to. So my presets are this. Um, you've got options here, filters, video, audio, FTP. Um, but specifically what I want to show you, at this point a lot of folks just hit export and you can go out from there and it'll export and that's all great. Um, one of the other things to pay attention to is where you're going to export. Um, you have the entire sequence, which I actually want to do that. I don't want to just choose a smaller area. But then when I have that, I'm actually going to hit Q. And Q is going to load something pretty special. Take it a minute. It's going to load the Adobe Media Encoder. And this was introduced recently um, in CS5, I believe, maybe maybe before, I can't remember. Um, but they really kind of stepped up their game with CS6, and I almost invariably go to the encoder this time uh, and actually hit Q. Um, give it time. There we go. So actually what I'm going to go ahead and do is... I've already got some of these sitting up here, so I'm just going to remove these. Yes, I'll remove these. And all I'm doing is right-clicking and getting rid of these things. So these are from a previous project. All right, so and here's my, the one I just created. Now, what I want to show you is over here on the right side of the screen. It has all these presets that very often just have exactly what you're looking for. So if you're going for broadcast, you've got all these drop down menus. Um, if you're going from devices, so you're looking to upload to an iPhone, here you go, or some sort of um, iPad, whatever. All of these things are preset specifically for whatever you're looking for. Uh, it takes a lot of the fumbling around and thinking. Um, specifically, if you can keep going down, you also have Vimeo and YouTube options. So let's just say this particular video, I actually want to go to YouTube HD and keep the 23.976 frames per second, 8 megabytes as far as a bit rate. Click that. And then really all I have to do is just click and drag over and then let go. Now maybe you also want to do a Vimeo one because you're going to upload to both sites and you want everything to be optimized for each site. So I'm just going to click and drag over there. And just while we're at it, uh, we'll go up here and just say we've got mobile device, iPad 2, we'll just grab the one on the top and drag it over. Alright, so all that was super easy. And then all you have to do at this point, go up to the top, this little green play button, start queue. And it's going to work on these things all at the same time. So, um, this up so you can see them. So now it's going to be encoding simultaneously. Now depending on your computer and how fast of a processor you have this and how big the project is, 
this could be a really fast sequence, it, or it could take you a while, and you might as well just go take a nap or do it right before you go to bed and let it cook overnight. So, um, but that's it, and once it's done, those videos will be waiting for you in whatever respective file folder you, file folder, uh, you assigned. So, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm Billy Reader. Do well, edit on the beat, and make good stuff. See ya.